this video I'm going to show you how to create a child child theme and then uh, add a secondary menu this is our primary menu but if you want a secondary menu in a footer somewhere or on the side down here then you can create a secondary menu uh, with a new menu feature in WordPress 3.0 so we go into our cPanel uh, log into your cPanel and then click on file manager and I have installed it in my uh, folder so I click on folder and then WP content uh, themes and these are all the themes that I have installed this is my test site so all these themes are just test purposes uh, we create a new folder for child theme for 2010 so we go down here and create a folder and call it 2010 child and create that has created a folder. We open that folder and we need to create a file called style CSS. S T I L E dot C S S. So we got a blank file called style CSS and then we open that file by click, clicking on a name and then edit file and as you can see we don't have anything down here now we go into our word, wordpress.org site and I already searched for child themes from there so it's codex.org child themes and it gives you all the instructions how to make it uh, what we need is this part down in the style CSS to tell the WordPress that we have a child for 2010 uh, the main purpose of doing this is that if in future they update the 2010 theme then you don't lose whatever changes you made to the theme and that's the reason why we recommend that you make a child theme and I'll go, come back onto my style CSS and then paste it there now we tell child theme and then it's telling them to use a template of 2010 uh, the other thing it has on there is that you need to import the style CSS for uh, from uh, the main theme so you just copy that and put it on here and then save it now this creates a child theme but uh, if you want to make any changes in the functions of the uh, of the theme then we create another folder another file called functions PHP so basically what you're doing is creating the same files that you have in 2010 into functions PHP and style CSS because that's where most of the changes have been made uh, once you've done that we go into functions we check to see if this theme is working first so I can log into my test site and 
refresh and going to site admin and we should have that child theme in our themes uh, this is the main 2010 but if you go down we'll see the 80s and that's the child theme that we just created and if we activate it it'll be the same thing that we just have because we haven't made any changes in the child theme to now to put a secondary menu on uh, on the menus this is our you can see only primary navigation menu down here but if you want to put another one down here so we, what what we do is go into the editor in functions we go into think functions of uh, there it is uh, this is a part that we copy from the main 2010 copy this and we go into our s s functions that we just created that file we created in cPanel and as it is blank so we got to put our code first that tag with question mark and this is the tags that always start on a PHP file and in between that we paste that but we need to make the change on here because this this th uh, primary theme is already created on the functions PHP on the main side so we just change the name of this one and go secondary mistake secondary and then do the same down here So whatever changes you make in here will s stay with you until you make the change. Even if the theme is updated, you won't lose the secondary menu. So once you've done that, you can save this file. And we go back into our site and see if we can activate the theme, the child theme. It doesn't have the picture down here, but it will work the same. Uh, it says that your current theme is child theme and your name here, you can put your name, we didn't put any name down there, that's why it doesn't have the name here. Uh, done that, now if you look at the theme, it will look the same. But if you go into site menu admin and uh, go on menus, we should have another menu down there, secondary menu. There it is. Now you can put the main menu here and then you can have a footer menu or whatever you create down here. Uh, put it down here. And when you've done that, whatever menu you put in here can be displayed in a folder or the sidebar by going into widgets and 
custom menu. You can drag this and put it in the folder if you want to on the first, or first folder uh, widget or the second one or third one or fourth one wherever you want or if you want it on a sidebar you can put it on a sidebar. So let's for example go on a folder bar and I'll go on the first one and drag that and put it down here. You'll have a choice of what menu you want to put on this down here and you can give it a title if you want and save it. So that will put the menu in a folder, first folder widget area. I hope this video has helped you on how to create a child theme and create a secondary menu. Thank you.